Hello friends, and welcome back to the Mothership. Today we are smoking up our very own butterfly chicken drumsticks. Let's get started. Alright, to prep our chicken, the first thing we want to do is take off any far too excess skin or anything funky. Like this hack job they did here, take that off. Just anything funky. Then what we're going to do on each chicken leg here, we're going to cut along one side of the bone. Like so. And then we are going to cut along the other side of the bone. While still keeping kind of that back side of the meat connected to the bone. What that does is allows the whole thing to open up like so, giving us a much wider surface area and accomplishing the crispiness that we're looking for. So let's do that for all of these drumsticks. Perfect. Now what I want to do is just get a little bit of olive oil on these suckers. Just a little bit. Rub it in. Then I'm going to take some kosher salt and sprinkle it. This would probably be a good application for a wet brine, but I'm going to go with a dry brine today. Then we'll flip them over and do the same thing. Now for this cook, I'm going to go with my honey barbecue rub. And since there's no added salt, I'm just going to go ham on here. Flip them over and get the other side as well. Now that we have everything dry brined, I'm going to put these on a wire rack into the fridge, skin side, or I guess butterfly side up, so that the skin has a little more time to dry out. That'll help with crisping it up when it goes onto the smoker. Probably gonna leave them in there for at least two hours before we get the smoker even started. I just threw our chicken on. I'm running it at 180 degrees. I really just wanna get smoke on these suckers. I'm not trying to cook them off because I think I'm probably gonna finish them either on this smoker at a very high temp, somewhere over 400, or on my charcoal or propane grill. I really wanna crisp the skin on these and finish them off that way. But I wanna get a decent amount of smoke on here, so we're gonna run them at 180 for a couple hours, really. If your machine has a smoke setting, this would be the time to use it. If you just go in like me at the lowest temperature, mine's at 180, if yours is 200, that works as well. Either way, trying to get some smoke, and then we're going to blast them with heat and really crisp up the skin towards the end. After a couple hours on the smoker, I just pulled off our chicken and I've got a little smoky Joe Stalin going and we are just going to sear these off to get the skin nice and crispy. I'm actually gonna flip them over so that the skin side is down just to really sear everything up. And we just wanna get these to eating temperature. Now I've seen the idea of butterfly chicken drumsticks being as good if not better than chicken wings popping up on the internet multiple times in the past, but you know what? I've kind of ignored it. But we had some chicken drumsticks and I thought, you know what? It's time to give it a try and see if these are actually as good as people claim they are. Now I know the chicken wings are kind of astronomical these days in price, which is ridiculous for what they are. But either way, we have accomplished what we set out to do. We butterflied these suckers, we smoked them for several hours, then seared them off on the charcoal grill. The skin is nice and crispy. And then I made some honey mustard to go along with our honey rub. As always, the entire recipe is down below and it's time to give these a taste test. So I'm just gonna give it the old dunk and the chomp. Mm. Now, other than it being extremely hot, these are super good. Would I say they're as good as chicken wings? Mm, maybe not, but they're drumsticks. When you butterfly them out like this, you are allowing much more of the surface area to get exposed to really high heat and get more of your flavoring from your rubs. And it definitely does change the way you eat these suckers. In the past, I've done lollipop and just regular drumsticks on the smoker, but I've never actually butterflied them. And honestly, this might be the way I do them in the future. You really do get a better surface area and much more of that crisp than you do with just a regular drumstick hanging. So I am gonna take that away. As far as switching all of my chicken wing nights over to drumsticks, probably not, but these are very, very good. And pair it with my honey barbecue rub and some honey mustard. This is gonna be a fantastic meal. Guys, absolutely give this a try. Let me know what your thoughts are and if you think these are better than chicken wings. Are these the chicken wings killer? Probably not. But either way, let me know your comments down below. 
And as always, cook some fantastic, and I'll catch you in the next cook.